Continuing on with general figure 16 questions, we're going to look at this first question is what will be the effect if the PCO relay fails to operate when the left hand tank is selected? Okay, so what's the effect if the PCO relay fails to operate? The PCO relay is here. And I'm gonna give you an, an easy way to answer this question without even having to do the work out the, the, the complete flow of the schematic. Then I'm gonna show you how it does flow on the schematic so you'll know both. But this PCO relay is part of this indication system. So what happens if it fails? What does it actually do? The, the pump, PCO means cr pump cross feed open. That's the lettering right next to it. So what this relay does is when it closes, it closes contact 13. And if contact 15 is also closed, it lights up the fuel pressure cross feed valve open. And that's the answer to the question is it would not light up that light. So our answers are the fuel pressure cross feed valve will not open. That's incorrect. That's the valve down here. They try to confuse you here because they say B, which is the fuel tank cross feed. Fuel tank cross feed is this whole system on the right. The third answer is actually correct. The fuel pressure cross feed valve light will not illuminate. So be careful. They deliberately try to trip you up here. So that's how you figure it out without doing anything as you look at what the relay powers. Now, let's let's show how this works in a left-hand selection. Uh, over here on the left, this fuel selector is going to be selected to left. That puts power down to this LTS relay. That opens contact five and closes contact six. Then power coming off this parallel line, off uh, zigzags through six, down to pin A and opens the cross feed valve through this set of windings on the right. Once the valve is open all the way, the limit switch goes over to contact this arrow at pin C and powers the PCO relay. So that's just how it would get power. Now you gotta say, well, if it have failed, what does not happen? Well, what does not happen is pin 13 the contacts don't close on that, which means that the fuel pressure cross feed valve open light does not eliminate. So see, it's the same thing. All you had to do, the easy way was the first part was just look at what the relay is going to, to turn on or turn off. And that was your answer. But that's how you do that. Let's look at the next question. The TCO relay will operate if 24 volts DC is applied to the bus and the fuel tank selector is in the... Here's our TCO relay over here on the right. That stands for tank cross feed open. So for this to work, they're asking what selection on this fuel selector. Our possible answers are right hand tank cross feed position or left hand tank. So let's go back and look at the TCO relay. What makes him tick? Well, he is going to get the controlling power to the coil. He's got a ground here. He's seeking power down through this line that goes to pin C. So what happens is this fuel tank cross feed valve is going to have to open and get to the end of its travel and the limit switch will flip over and and power pin C. All right, well, how does it do that? It gets its power up here from A. And A, there's a set of contacts here, and it's labeled FCF, and this dotted line goes down here to the FCF relay. That happens to stand for fuel cross feed. Anyway, the fuel cross feed feeds up through here to uh, connection number one here. So, the answer to our question is that the cross feed position has to be selected. One more question. We're going to look at question three. With power to the bus 
and the fuel selector switched to the right hand tank, how many relays in the system are operating? So if we look at the bus and the fuel selector is on the right hand tank. Now they're going to probably try to trick us because we got three parallel circuits. But if power is selected to the bus, we've got got going down through the right hand tank to we got the RTS relay so that's one then we zigzag power through five through eight down to pin A and that opens the crossfeed valve and applies power when it gets to the end of its travel applies power to C which is the PCO open that's our second one the third way, you can trace all this stuff out, you'll, you'll run up with a bunch of dead ends. Our third relay is over here at the rightmost area. Power is always being applied down this wire to this contact 18. 18 is opened and closed by the fuel crossfeed relay over here, but this is its normal state. Um, we haven't done anything with that relay, but in the relaxed state, power goes across the contacts at 18 to pin B and once this valve is closed all the way the limit switch flips over to this wire here and puts power to pin D and that goes up to the tank crossfeed closed relay and that is our third relay so the answer to question three here is a three relays in the system are operating